If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go Gene Wilder and Young Frankenstein, one of the just several iconic movies he did with Mel Brooks. Now, Leonard Malton is a longtime Hollywood film critic and historian, and he joins us now live. L- Leonard, I think one of the lasting legacies of Gene Wilder is that he made us laugh in so many different ways. Yes, he did, because he was such a, a brilliant actor. I mean, he was not a comedian, and I don't think he ever set out to be particularly a comedic actor. But fate pulled him in that direction uh, with Mel Brooks uh, at the reins, uh, for the most part, at the beginning. And he brought such uh, warmth and humanity to his performances that you really believed him. You believed he was that guy, Leo Bloom, that hapless guy that Zero Mustel latches onto in the producers. You believe he was that gunfighter in the bla- in Blazing Saddles. And you absolutely believed that he was that that, you know, incredible, larger than life Dr. Von Frankenstein in Young Frankenstein. And and if he had played those in a farcical way, if he played them to get laughs, I don't think they would have meant nearly as much. He played them for real. And he had such heart and humanity, you could see it in his face, in his big blue eyes, in his expressive face. Uh, and, and that's what won, won us all over. Not to mention, of course, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, a film that people quite rightly love and love him in. We played a bit of music from that, the Willy Wonka. And, you know, when you watch the movie, you his character was one that you think, wow, he's sort of real creepy. But then he has this, as you said, he wonderful humanity and this, you know, incredible, uh, I don't even know what the word is, just heart he brought to that role. And it was just truly mesmerizing by adults and, and children alike. Absolutely. Well, that that's a very tricky character to play, Willy Wonka. And he, uh, I mean, Johnny Depp did a very good job, too, but in a different way. But Gene Wilder has that enigmatic look on his face, that wry sort of half smile. And you're always trying to figure out what's going on inside there. Leonard, correct me if I'm wrong here, but were there not reports of his death uh, many years back? Oh, I don't remember that. Gee, no, that that's off my radar, I'm afraid. Okay. But I'm, uh, you know, I'm we, glad it wasn't true then. I'm yeah. sorry it's true now. Yeah, well, yeah. We, we've been looking at, you know, of course, we, we went to the Internet to find different things, and there, there are a few websites out there that, that you know that that talk about how his death was reported prematurely. Right. Uh, I understand he'd, he'd sort of been in ill health. Do you know anything about that? Well, I, I, no, I don't, I don't want to speculate. Uh, I know that he'd been inactive in recent years, and I think that was largely by choice. He did uh, try a, uh, a sitcom on NBC some years ago that didn't didn't go, that didn't fly, uh, and uh, I think he became uh, quite content living in Connecticut and uh, living a quiet life. He gave a great interview on TV of, and a handful of years ago to Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin went up to his home, and they had a just a wonderful. I don't know if this is online, if it could be Googled or not. But it's a wonderful conversation between two, you know, two professional actors who have a uh, mutual admiration society. And in that interview, he's quoted as saying, I don't like show business, I realized. I like show, but I don't like the business. Yes. Uh, Well, and that shows you, I think he wore his heart on his sleeve, not only in character, but perhaps in real life. Do you have a favorite of uh, all the, uh, the Gene Wilder? Movies? Oh gosh, how do you how do you pick one <laughs> favorite? It's just so hard. Those films, those three films with Mel Brooks, are immortal, and as he is in them, and it, it, it's just it, you, you've given me an impossible choice. Leonard, maybe one last question before I let you go. Did you have a chance to, to interact with him very much? Do you know the, the man behind this great actor? Not a lot, but I did interview him when he was doing that that uh, uh, that sitcom at NBC, and uh, he could not have been sweeter. He could not have been sweeter. It was a lovely, uh, brief, but memorable day in my life to say that I met Gene Wilder. 
Wonderful. Leonard, thank you again. Leonard Malton, a longtime Hollywood film a critic, historian, joining us live. And again, it is our breaking news of this hour uh, with word that Gene Wilder has passed away. You know him from uh, so many of his iconic movies. He was 83 years old.